Alright, hey everybody, what is up? It is X Palette B here, and oh my god, we are back in X Plane 10 for real now. We are going to do an aircraft review of the one and only, the wonderful Embraer E175. Um, it's, I mean, it really is an, an amazing aircraft, and I'm very happy to, uh, to present it to you and do a review for you guys. So I hope you will enjoy this. Uh, we're just going to go here. So this is the explain.org and it retails for $34.95. Uh, um, you can find all your information. You can go on uh, some pictures here. You can find all your information here. Uh, so you extra, you got, you got 4K high resolution textures. Um, so that's, that's pretty amazing. Amazing. And yeah, it's got a 3D modeling, obviously, of cockpit and cabin. And yeah, so I will leave the link to where you can buy this in the description for you guys. But here we are in x 10, and we are currently at Tenerife Airport, so this is GCTS, so that's the, um, that's the code for it. Um, and here we are in all its glory. Um, yeah, so as you can already see, amazing textures. Uh, obviously my PC isn't the best, so I had to actually turn it down. But even with very low uh, resolution and textures, it's actually looking quite amazing. So I'm very happy with this. Um, now, I obviously I do have ground handling from Jar Design, um, and I also I'm going to do a review about that pretty soon. Um, and but there's only one problem: uh, it doesn't have this aircraft as default, so I will probably have to build my own set for this. And I didn't really have time to do that before this review, but um, I will definitely do that review um, sooner or later. So. Yeah, I'm afraid, I don't know why, I don't know what the problem is, but I can't hear any sound when I'm in the exterior uh, of this aircraft. Interior works, you can hear everything, but outside, I just know. Um, yeah, so this is the E-175 um, Embraer House livery, and it comes with, I think, I believe, five liveries, which I'll be showing you right now. So the next one is Flyby, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is Flyby. Yeah, it is Flyby. Um, yes, Flyby, you probably know the airline. Then we have just the normal white um, default livery for every single aircraft, which is just plain white. Then we have the American Eagle, so American Airlines, which is, again, I love this livery. I find it just absolutely amazing. Then we have Air Canada. Then I think we have Delta. Is it Delta? Let's see. It is Delta. So there's Delta, and then I think the last one now, United. I think it's United. See? No, it isn't. All right, so we have, yeah, so we have the house livery. We've got the Flyby. We have Air Canada. We have American Eagle and Delta. So, yeah, uh, not many. I'm, I'm not sure if you can get additional liveries. Uh, I'm not so sure. So here we can... I'm just going to show you guys what you can actually do here. So if you go here to the left, this is actually a pretty nice feature because right now your screen is um, empty, you don't have anything, but then when you go here you have the quick menu. See, so we can do, we can open the front main, we can open the service door, um, there we go, you can see it, the main back door and the service door in the back. And we have ground objects and the GPU as well, and then you can, just, you, then you can actually hear the GPU. Which is a bit weird, but we're not going to need a GPU because we have already everything fired up, and we've we've, we've pretty much just connected it. Uh, so we can actually go inside here, and then open up this door. There we are, and as you can see, just look at this texturing. It is pr pretty amazing to be honest, and this is actually pretty cool about this aircraft. You have this to the left, the main door, and then uh, the service door is not uh, on exactly on the opposite side, which is actually pretty funny to be honest, well, it's not really funny, it's, it's just, yeah, um, and yeah, but I think it's actually very nice, uh, then you have your cargo doors, we can actually just go inside of it, I mean, you can really just see the, the detail, I mean, you can almost read this for me, I mean, I can't, can I read this, I can't, open door, yeah, I can, I can read, I can read open door, maybe with better, um, resolutions and um, 
graphics, you might be able to read it. But again, amazing, truly amazing, and just incredible. I can't get over it. Then we have very highly detailed uh, static uh, ground objects. And then here is our lovely, lovely engine, which is also very highly detailed. We have two turbofan engines on this aircraft. Very, very nice indeed. So we're just going to go ahead, ahead and go over the textures on the outside. Um, there we have our landing lights. I can show you that in the dark later as well. Sorry about the loud noise of my Cytec panels. So, as you can see, just incredible, incredible um, detail. So, we have already our engines on. I know we should have probably done that after pushback. But um, I just decided to get everything running for you guys so we won't have to waste any more time. Just, I'm not going to really say it again, uh, but just look at this. I mean, it really is incredible. And... They really spent a lot of time and it really paid off, I can tell you that. So if you're watching, um, uh, I think I think it's by Xcraft, um, but you'll see you later anyway. Uh, so if you're watching, um, just, I mean, just amazing. Uh, that was me clapping, by the way. None of you scumbags, none, none of you disgusting perverts thinking of anything else, alright? We have our ailerons, and then back to our vertical stabilizer and our horizontal stabilizer so very very impressed I am and yeah so I think that's pretty much it for the outside actually no it's not because as you can see we have our winglets here but then if we go to plugins winglet configuration enhanced winglets wait what 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 is that I mean it does look a bit weird it's not my favorite if I'm completely honest I'm probably also not going to use this because I honestly don't really find it appealing. I don't really like it. I think it's just a bit weird. But it's actually very, very cool to have this uh, feature. So we're just going to go ahead back. Uh, there we go. And default winglets. There we go. I actually like this one a lot better. So we're just going to go ahead and oops, go to our cockpit again. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, but let's just continue on the outside and finish this up. So back to this menu we can close the doors because we don't have any stairs i'm afraid uh back main we actually also close the cargo doors uh ground objects we'll leave them for now we we also have a pushback as you can see which i'll also be using it's actually also pretty detailed pretty highly detailed um so yeah again a very nice feature if you don't have any uh jar design ground handling or pushback uh then p this is our pushback which means that you can uh, program it, and I will also show you that in a mech in a second. And then this is actually very very cool. You have like your your manual. Um, so this is pretty much all. This is pretty much your manual manual. Can't talk today. But blah, blah, blah. All right. So safety and power on. We can. So this is pretty much when you want to um, power on your aircraft. So maintenance status checked. GPU out. Battery one and. Battery two is off. Fuel DC pump. Blah, 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 blah. And then we can go to start up. We can AC power auto. All this kind of stuff. Take off. Um, so all that lovely stuff which you will need, obviously later on. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it on the outside. So we can go ahead in the inside and open up our window. Oh yes, we can open up our window. That's pretty cool. I know. So right now, if we go outside. Here we are. We can see our window has opened, which is very nice. And then we can also, uh, and that was the door. Where is it? Nope. I can't see it. Is it. Where is it? There. There we go. Close our window. A nice little like dusty effect on the outside. Very very nice. So uh, if you are thinking about getting an aircraft for X-Men 10, which is like a small small airliner, definitely definitely get this one. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go ahead and check it out a bit more. There we go. Touch stuff. All right, that was, that, yeah, touch stuff. We can get rid of the yoke as well. And we can obviously do loads of cool, cool stuff. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and actually maybe, um, go around. 
So very highly detailed. I can't. I know. I'm gonna say this a lot, but a very, very, very highly detailed cockpit as well as the main, as the rest. Obviously, you can also open this one and close this one as well. Uh, then we can't do anything there. We also can't touch these uh, lights. But we have. Sorry, actually, guys, can't, can't. There we go. Can't go. Already can't myself right there. All right. So this is our overhead panel. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and go fast seatbelt sign on, no smoking sign on as well. Good. Uh, we can, you know, do all this, you know, all our normal stuff. We can put our, no, yeah, we can put our taxi lights on, actually. I'm just going to leave it on for now, to be honest. Um, and yeah, all your normal overhead panel stuff. We got our, we actually have a custom uh, MCDU, uh, not MCDU, FMC, sorry. Uh, I believe it's custom. Um, oh no, it is an MCDU. That was funny. Uh, departure, we're not going to put anything in. But um, yeah, it's a very nice feature. It's the first Embryo to actually have this. Um, first ERG uh, to actually have this. That's a very nice feature. And yeah, I think this is pretty much it for the inside, to be honest. Um, we can put the, these armrests up and down, which I don't really see any point. But it's actually very, it's very cool to have it. Just to have it um, close and open our cockpit door. Uh, can we we can't do anything here. This is pretty much the first time of me flying this one as well So don't complain if I do anything wrong. Obviously you can actually because it's my fault um, I don't believe we can do anything up here. No, we can't but we have some lights um, And uh, this is actually very nice. So here we have our outside view, which is very nice and then we can go ahead uh, It's our business and then we can just walk around in here and then also go here, have a look, very nice indeed. We can actually set our views to be honest. If you haven't uh, seen how to how to set our how to set your views, uh, then you can definitely just go on my channel. Or at the end of this video, you have to go to the left eye. Uh, so at the end of the video, you will see on um, the top left eye, um, like a tag. Um, sorry, on the top right eye. I'm so very sorry. So top right screen of uh, top side of your screen. Uh, you will see corner, um, an eye and then press on it and then you will see uh, how to set up views in XP10. Definitely watch that out. It's very, very helpful. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, even if I have to say so myself. So we're going to confirm this to four. There we go. Okay. There we go. We can just walk in here just a little bit. Um... So again, very, very nice economy seats as well. Or well, if you say nice economy seats. Yeah, they're actually okay. And then we can go here. Very nice wings. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna go. We're going to go inside now. Inside, inside, inside. The front. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and. Shh, there we go. Close the cockpit door. We can actually leave this open to get some fresh air before we take off. And yeah, I believe we're all done inside. So. Um, let's go ahead and go outside. Okay, here we go. So we have our pushback, as I already told you before. I just should have actually put away the, the ground object. There we go. There we are. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm very sorry, you guys. We need pushback. Here we go. So, I don't know. What is this? This is more like 40 meters. Left pivot. A straight push. Pushback not required. Park to the left. Park to the right. I don't honestly know. We can do 40 meters and we can do... Ex no, we'll first do 20 meters. We'll accept this. Roger. Understand straight pushback. T Roger. Confirmed. Thanks. Pushback will begin shortly. Alright, good. So we're just going to have to wait until it begins pushback. Alright. Acknowledge. Please reconfirm. Brakes have Confirmed. been released. Right. Roger. Release brakes. Thanks. You're welcome. Push back will begin shortly. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go to take a small, small time until we get ready. Okay. I should just make sure. Yeah, the pocket break is off. And it's good. 
Okay. Okay, what are we waiting for, guys? Hello? It's a bit annoying, actually. That takes a bit. But we can see we have everything ready here. All looking very nice indeed. Okay, good. Let's see, we can actually. No, we're not going to set our claps yet. We are going to wait and wait and wait. Alright, so we are pushing back now. So that's very good. So, wait. So we set it to 20 meters. Alright, so this was apparently 20 meters. Push back complete. We will disconnect now. Have a great flight. Alright, thank you very much, but that's not enough. Alright, so. Uh, okay, that's not very good, to be honest. Um. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So it now knows that we've finished pushback. All right, and you are driving into the ground. That's great, mate. So that means, all right, so it knows that now we've finished pushback, which means that we can't put any ground units or ground equipment on the bottom. And we can't use our pushback anymore, which means, oh, okay, that's actually that's clever, but not exactly the smartest thing to do. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn left and go to the, go via front. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right. Okay, good. All right, okay, so, all right, see parking brake is disengaged. Uh, okay, we're ready then, I guess. Okay, so looking good. Get our engines rolling, and we're gonna turn left here. Okay, and we're just gonna close this window before we forget to do that later on, if we can. Apparently, we can't, which is a bit weird. Okay, let's go slower. Right, they still have that stupid noise of our break that breaking. It's a bit. Bit, bit annoying. I don't really like that sound. Um, okay, we're gonna go left, taxi to the end of the runway, and we're gonna take flap setting two. So let's take it to two. I believe that's two. We can actually just set it on via. There we go. Apparently not. <laughs> I don't know what's that what that what that's all about. Okay, there we go. It's a bit difficult to control on the ground actually. Um but okay, let's get it let's get our clubs in two. Uh V one is one twenty one and V rotate is one twenty six, okay. So 121 and 126. Yeah, so um, in this aircraft, you can fit 78 to 88 passengers, and the crew is obviously only two. You only have a pilot and a co pilot. Um, and uh, this aircraft can reach speeds of up to 870 kilometers an hour. Uh, so that's 470 knots, which is uh, 541 miles per hour, uh, which is also um, so max is a uh, Mach. 0.82 uh, and the service ceiling so is 12,497 meters which is 41,000 feet um, which is pretty good it's a pretty good height pretty high actually um, you, you probably won't be going that high on like smaller journeys um, and the range is 3,704 kilometers which is 2,000 nautical miles which is about 2,302 normal miles. Um, and the wingspan is 26 meters or 85.3 feet. Let's quickly see where we need to go. 
Right, we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna go there at the end of that. Uh, the length is 103.9 feet, and the height was 31.9 feet. And the first flight of this aircraft was uh, the, on the 14th of the 6th, uh, 2003. And uh, yeah, well, I, that's that's what it's. I mean, I'm literally reading this on off the internet. And it says, I mean, that's what it says, so I hope it's right. I'm not, I'm not really sure about it, but yeah. And if you don't know what Embraer is, it's a Brazilian, uh, man it's from a Brazilian manufacturer. Uh, just so you guys uh, know that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So V1 is 121, and rotate is 126. Keep that in mind. And then we can have a nice little, nice little test flight with this nice aircraft. Okay, we're going a bit quick because you can't turn really. Right, so the rudders are working good. Okay, we're gonna go take a right here. No, I did mess up a bit on the taxi. Okay. And I, as I just said, I don't know why I can't set the flaps yet. It is a bit weird. I'll try again now. Let's just see if this will work. Probably not. Okay, it's working now. That's good. Thank God. We'll check on that just before we take off uh, again, to just just to make sure that we um, have our flaps out. And here we have some pop out pop outs, which are pretty cool because they also. There we go. I don't know if you guys know what I want to mean. There we go. Um, okay, we don't have any traffic here so that's okay na, 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 and okay here we are all right just messing up again uh, all right this is pretty much the center line almost not really um, okay yeah they're about all right good okay that's looking good. I'm just gonna wanna set up my course just to uh, on the way back, so on the landing, so I know where which direction the runway is heading. If you don't know what I'm doing, I am right now setting the co the course um, with my SciTech uh, flight panel instrument panel to two five three. I believe it is two five three. Uh, this is what is this? It's two five five two five. Yeah, two five three. About. Yeah, I'd say it's two five three. Looks two five three. Okay, good. And actually, you just want to see here. Um. On this lovely yoke, we have another couple of, couple of buttons, and yeah, I think that's it. So again, like I just said, let's make sure that our flaps are set. Our flaps are set to. Two. That is always a very good. Um, okay, we can put off our taxi lights and put our landing lights, I believe. I always sometimes um, mix those up or get those wrong. Okay, there we go. I think this is pretty much it. Um, and yeah, have a quick little look see outside. There we go. Flight controls are working. Our slats and flaps are set. That's all. It's all looking very good. See if our spoilers are working. No, those are flaps. That was that was my fault. Fault. All right, spoilers are working very, very good indeed. There we go. Okay, and we can set them back to two because that was a complete numpty. Uh, there we go. Okay, good. Let's wait until those are set. Uh, which you can actually just see there. There we go. Okay. So I think we're all ready. We don't have any ATC to worry about, so we'll go ahead and release the brakes. And um, put our throttles to first to fifty percent. It's a bit annoying because we can't really hear any difference in engine sound outside as well. I don't know if that's something wrong with the um, uh, with the plane or maybe with just with my settings. All right, so let me just have a look. See, right, one hundred knots. 
Oh, that was my fault. I didn't put it to full. So, sorry. V1. Rotate. Wow, this aircraft actually um, accelerates very quickly. Alright, put it back. Put the power back just a little bit. There we go. Gear up. Let's see. Alright, gear is going up. Very nice. Wow, this aircraft just looks incredible. Very, very, very nice aircraft. Very happy with this as well. As you can see there, our landing lights are working very nicely. Okay. Good. So we can pull back our power to climb. And let's actually get this. I'm afraid we can't move this or anything. That's a bit of a shame. Um, but, oh well. It's at least nice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a right turn in just a moment. Uh, we're first going to climb a little bit more to 3,000 feet, and then we'll go ahead and climb. Uh, and then we'll take a roll to the right. Alright, 3,000 feet, we'll take a roll. Nice little gentle roll. Uh, okay, there we go. Very nice. We can have a look on the outside, actually. There's GC GCTS. GCSE. I'm not sure, actually. Totally forgot right now. I see. Do we have it written down here? GCTS. I was right. Good. Um, and a very nice scenery, which is actually free. It's Tenerife scenery, and it's... Believe it or not, it's free. And you get all this lovely scenery. Um, the whole island absolutely for free and it's it already is amazing okay so we can level out here uh, we can put up our flaps I mean we could actually just leave them out for another little bit um, so we'll, actually do, we'll put them to one again it's easier I could have also trimmed the aircraft before but um, didn't really want to so um, yeah we're probably gonna stay at this altitude just a bit. We're gonna put them out a bit, so I don't really, I don't really want to trim the aircraft right now. There we go. And I'm gonna set the mood a bit. I'm gonna turn a bit darker right now, as you can see. I'm... Okay. There we go. There we go. Getting a bit darker now. But also the frame rate is also also going um, up when you have it dark. Because obviously it doesn't have to render so much scenery, which is actually very difficult to fly in the dark air GCSD. Because there's a lot of, oops, going down a bit now. That's my fault. I'm very sorry for you guys. Uh, but zing zing, you 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 guys you guys are probably gonna uh, mob me of my speaking right now. I mean I'm sorry, but it is pretty embarrassing to be honest. Um, but the cockpit is looking very nice. We're gonna have a look see, have a look see. Uh, let me quickly get something. Uh, oops, there we go. Okay, let's quickly have a look inside a, a nice cockpit. Uh, cabin, I mean. Very, very nice. Illuminated. So we can see the ground. Very nice indeed. And the landing lights. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so this is pretty much as realistic as you can actually get. It is extremely amazing. So you can probably see. It is really just incredible. Let's have a look see at the window. That just looks amazing. I mean, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed, man. All right, nice. So we're going to put it back to daylight so we can have a nice flight and actually see where we are going. Not that we crash. Um, we'll, we'll just put it, we'll put it here. Oops. Okay, um, my phone just went on because I accidentally activated Siri. Okay, we'll go a bit, we're gonna go a bit slower. Okay, there we go. So I'll get back to you guys uh, in just a moment. Okay, so we're back. Uh, the reason why I just uh, paused it is because I just wanted to check around with the autopilot, make sure everything's working because this is actually my first flight with this aircraft, believe it or not, but uh, that's why I just um, checked out the autopilot, how it works, and uh, it's pretty easy actually. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn right now because we are actually going a bit off course. Actually, no, we're not. So, I believe our runway is there about. Let's see on our course where I set it. Um, kinda, not really. It's actually going it's going that way. All right, we turned a bit too far to the right, to be honest, actually. Um, but that's okay. That's actually not bad at all. 
Um, but we are going to then put our altitude set. We're going to put it to we're going to put it to five thousand feet, so we can continuously uh, decline. Uh, that's about five thousand. We can actually put it up a bit. Five thousand feet. There we go. Perfect. And we are going to take a where are we going to go? We're going to take a left turn, which we will do with our heading. Uh, which we are going to do. We're going to take a... Okay, there we are. We're going to go to... What is that? We're going to go to 005 and our speed. Okay, we're actually just going to put the autopilot on. It's a very simple autopilot. And I don't know what we're going up, to be honest. Okay, there we are. Now it's now it's going down our speed. We can actually also set our speed. What, we, what we're going to put it to... We're going to put it to 250. To 50. Or the throttle, and that should that should work very nicely. Good, but we're gonna put it down just a bit more. We're gonna put it down to two. We're gonna put it down to two or three, and all the throttle is working very nicely. Our autopilot as well. That's very very nice to see. Um, so I might do a couple of flights with this aircraft, seeming as it is a lot easier than I thought it would be. And maybe some live streams. Just let me know, uh, as I always tell you guys. Um, so yeah. All right. So that we're pretty much uh, parallel to the runway right now. It's just over there somewhere, which we can actually go ahead and check it out. There we are. <laughs> Bye, aircraft. All right. <laughs> we're going faster. Hey, mate. See ya. Um. Let's see. Where it is it? Where is it? Yeah, it's not there, but we can actually just have a quick look at the map. It's easier. Map, 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 map. Where are we? We are there, and our yeah. So we pretty much just flown. Oh my god, over the whole island. So here it is. We are parallel. We are going to go over here. We're going to go over this mountain, and then go left, and then land there. We, as you can see, we are a bit too high, but we're just going to go down there, go around this mountain, and. Set it down over there. Good. Okay. So uh, this is a longer video, um, but that doesn't matter. So you can just, I don't know, get something to eat, drink, whatever you want. So we are going to begin our left turn right now. Um, oops, just to line up with the runway. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put it to. What are we gonna put it to? Um, there we go. So that's about it. Okay, good. So we're gonna go ahead and line up with the runway. We're also gonna lower our our altitude, so we're going to go down a bit. Uh, where's our speed? Let's get up our speed. Our speed is 203. 
Uh, we're gonna go down to. We're gonna go down to. We're gonna put it to zero. To zero actually. And then just have a. Vertical speed. Down just a notch. There we go. Alright, I'm putting it up a bit. That's not. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, we can put it to. Let's see. One. Yeah, maybe just a bit more. There we go. That looks a bit route. That looks a bit route. About, about, about right. Right. And we can see the pappy lights. Well, I can't. Right. Uh. I believe we are a bit too high. What we can do is we can cheat, actually, to be honest. We can go to the map and see if we are. Um. No, we're actually a bit too low now. So we can stay this. We can stay it. Keep this vertical speed going. Uh, and then see if we are onto the right track. Let's see if we have any um, ISL. No, that's ISUR. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, 26 ILS CAT. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, 11090. Okay. Let's go to ILS. Uh, let's have one. One. One zero. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the radios. There we go. Um, zero. What I mean right now? Let's see. There we go. Zero. Nine zero. There we go. We're gonna swap that in. Okay, as we, as you can see, we are a bit to the right now. Um, so we can, let's have a little look, see, let's go to the bit to the front. And see, we are still quite, quite a bit off, so we can actually do some adjustments. So we're going to take a little lefty. There we go. I'll do. Okay, very nice, and then wait until we, until, until we... Get closer to the center line. We will not reduce our speed. Actually, we will maybe just a bit. Let's actually also reduce. Let's make it go a bit, bit quicker this ascent. Um, so our speed, as I think, is pretty much okay. Um, we can put it down just a little bit. Okay, we are crossing the line now so we can go back there we go um pretty much perfect actually as you can see pretty much perfectly centered and lined up with our runway which is always very nice uh let's put the spoilers to halfway if we can slow down just a little bit quicker and i think we're a bit too high actually quite a bit too high so let's, let's go down a lot quicker now it's not exactly what I wanted to do, but we have to do this. We have to do it. Alright, speed, we're going to put it down. I don't actually know the landing speed of this aircraft, so let's try to check it up. Let's, let's see if we can do this. Um, approach. Approach. V rev. Alright, 146, 139. 146. Okay, that's good. Flat speed, we're just going to do that. Okay. Uh, 146. Okay, that's good. It's actually looking very good. We are a bit too high. Let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, no, we're not. How are we still? Okay, that's a bit weird. Oh, that's why. Oh, my God. Oh, I think we're a lot too, way too high. G, C, T, S. Oh, my God. We are we are just, just, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Okay, we're going to put it at manual. We, we will keep the order throttle, but I think we should go around. But we're not going to. I don't know why. We have a continuously right going. Okay. Okay, this is not what I wanted to do, but we're just going to have to do it now. Okay. There we go. That's why. Alright, now I know. Okay, good. Okay, throttles are both working. That's good. Spoilers, all good. Put on our flaps, we're a bit late. We need to put on our gear as well. A bit of emergency landing now. Uh, sorry for the views. 
I know I shouldn't have. Sh I, sh I know I should go around and retake it, but I'm afraid I don't really have the time to do that actually. Um, because I also have to do other stuff today. Okay, good. Well, it's okay now. Still a bit too high, but we can manage. We'll try to manage it anyway. Um, but nevertheless, this aircraft is actually very, very nice. It's handling very, very nice as well. Uh, right, we are way too high. We are also not. We are also gonna actually gonna have to put in the reverse. I know you shouldn't do this in flight. I know that you. Sh I know there are gonna be a lot of people commenting. Oh, you did a lot of these. You did this wrong. You did that wrong. I know. I know. I know. But it's an emergency. It's an emergency. People deal with it. Right. Um. But yeah. So if you want to see more of this aircraft, uh, just comment down below, and uh, I'll try to do some. To Right, for flaps, I'll try to do some videos with it, some flights, so maybe some live streaming. Uh, just let me know what you want to, you got, what you guys want to see. All right, looking good. Um, we'll leave our auto throttle actually. Um, okay, so a bit too high. Okay, course, we're looking good. We're a bit too right actually, but that's okay. Okay, gear is down. We can confirm that. Our spoilers are also out. That's actually what we need them. Okay, we're looking good for landing speed. Okay, this is better than I thought. Okay, good. We can. Okay, actually, we've nailed this now. Okay, good. Don't put up yet. Alright, we. Our landing lights are run. I checked. Okay, looking good. Both hands on the stick. We are landing. Landing confirmed. Okay, flare, pull up. Oh god, we mess it up, people. We mess it up. Oh, I'm so sorry. We should go around, but we're not going to. We don't have time, as I just said already before. Right, come on, land. We don't have time. We have to get this puppy down. Okay, very bad landing. No, don't comment. Don't hate on me. Okay, I do not say any knots. Okay, but the landing was actually very nice. Well, once we once we were on the ground, very quick. All right, good. Let's go outside. See, nice. All of them are deployed. We can retract our flaps now. We'll leave the spoilers out. Okay, I don't know what. Oh, we put our auto throttle still on. We have to put that off. I totally forgot that. Oh, no, that's our altitude. What am I saying? There we go. Put our parking brake on. All right, brakes are on. I don't know why my throttle um, is wanting to go up, to be honest. I actually really honestly don't know why. If you guys know why, let me know. Um, but they are continuously trying to go up. Okay, we're going to have to we're going to have to shut them down. Now I know this is not how you shut down them shut them down, but I'm just going to have to do it. I'm just going to have to pull the shut off. Just pull them off. Okay, are they shutting down? Good, they're shutting down. Okay, we can track the spoilers and let's have a look at the replay quickly. Pull replay mode. Okay, from here, uh, we can go into a view that I, come on man, ah. come on, why is that working? Okay, it doesn't matter, alright, let's play, okay, horrendous, oh god, alright, it's alright, come on, we need to get down, we're almost at the end of the runway. God. Come on. Okay, we're down. As I already said, a little bit bumpy. Versus working. Very nicely. Alright, oh, a little bit wobbly as well. Alright, doesn't matter. It was our first one landing with this aircraft, so that's a bit of an excuse. Spoilers, alright. That's going in. 
And that is all looking good. Good. So I think we're actually pretty much done with this. With this review. I've hoped you liked it. I really do hope you liked it. Um, if you have any suggestions for me, as I always say, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Um, or, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, again, if you want to see how to make some money, um, go in the link in the description. Uh, the two links, uh, use g2a.com to get some amazing, neat, uh, cheap games. So, CSGO, Battlefield, Battlefront, whatever you want. Um, go check that out. And also, there's a site, g2a.com, Goldmine. I think it's the first link in the description or the second. I'm not very sure um, how you can make some money for yourself. Just go click that and then sign up and make some money. Or if you want to watch the video how to do that, go and check the top right, uh, right in corner of your screen right now. And there should be an eye with how to make some money with G2A.com, uh, Twitch, and YouTube. And there should also be a video of how to set up some views in Xbox 10. Also check that out. And thank you very much for watching. This has been Xpilot P. And see ya.